Hello and welcome to this course. In the very first lesson of this course, we're going to get set up with our project initiation. So let's jump straight into it. On your machine, open up a new terminal. And what we want to do is just create a folder to house our project in. So I've got a fresh terminal open on my machine here. If I do an LS, I will be able to see all the files that are listed out in the current directory that I'm in. And I'm just going to CD into my desktop folder. Feel free to file this wherever you feel is best on your um, local machine. Now that we're in the desktop folder, I'm going to make a new directory. I'm going to call it Passport Local Strategy. Okay, once I hit enter and I do an LS, you'll see the list of folders in this directory and I can also see it on my, my desktop up here. Okay, that's great. Once we've done that, we can um, CD or change directory change directory into that new folder and what i want to do in here is uh, create a few more directories and so for now i'm going to make a server directory as well as a front end directory okay this passport folder that i've created is going to be holding a couple of different subfolders the api that we'll be writing in node.js will be housed in the server folder and at a later stage when we want to test our authentication uh, we will hook it up to a front end so I'm just creating that folder now. So what we're going to do is we will change directory into the server folder and if we do an ls we've got no files or any other folders here. So now to get this uh, project initialized and running the first thing I want to do is just ensure that we're using the correct version of node. I want to target node version 16.13.0 on my machine. So I'm just going to say NVM use v16.13. An output there saying that we are now using node version 16.13.0. Uh, just take a note, if you do run this command and you get something back saying NVM uh, command not found or something like that, that means that you have not got NVM or the node version manager package running on your, your machine. So go ahead and get that set up or else just make sure you using a relatively close version to, to version 16. All right, uh, and just to double check, I can do an a, a NVM LS and then this will list out all the versions of node I have and you'll see this arrow that's listed here that is saying that we are currently using version 16. Okay, great. So now I want to initialize my node project. And so I'm going to run npm init. And this command is going to run us through a few questions. And npm then will create and scaffold out a new node project for us. So I'm going to hit enter. You'll see there's a couple of um, lines that are outputted here. You'll see this line here with the flashing cursor. We can just name our package that we want to create here. So I'm going to call this passport local strategy. All right, uh, we can make this version one. Uh, it wants us to put 1.0. The entry point, uh, we want to leave this as index.js so we can just hit enter. Uh, you can just hit enter for the test command, get repository keywords. Uh, feel free to put your name down as the author. License, we can just leave as the default. And once you hit enter on that last step, it'll just um, give you a JSON object here, uh, confirming some of your, your configurations, which will eventually be created in your package.json file. So you can hit yes over here to continue. And once you do that, and we clear out the terminal, and we do an ls, you'll see that we have a package.json file initialized and created in our folder. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, we got to get this out the way to get the project initialized. Feel free to open up your project in any IDE of your choice. That was just a handy command and shortcut that I have installed on my machine. And now that my IDE is open, you'll see that we have those two folders. I'm just going to increase the, the size here. You'll see front end, which is currently empty, and then our server contains a package.json file. If we click on that and open up the file, you'll see it's the same JSON object that was printed out in our terminal earlier. Pretty simple stuff at this point in time, but we are moving closer to getting everything set up. The next step is to create our entry point into the application. As we can see on line five here in the package.json, the entry file or the, or the main file um, in this project is the index.js and currently that doesn't exist. Make sure you are in the server folder and hit new file. And then we can call this file index.js 
and that's going to create a new file where we can start writing our first bit of um, code here. At this point, I think we should just take a quick break and pick it up in the next lesson because what we want to do is start talking about what we want this index.js file to do. So I'll see you on over in the next lesson. Cheers for now.